Hi, so uh, this is our second video and thought we'd, we'd cover a couple things. Um, so yesterday we, we, we went out and we didn't watch any videos from anyone, so uh, tried to catch up today, but good luck. Um, so we, we went out to uh, Edward's pipe and tobacco shop after my brother agreed to, uh, to to watch my youngest and we got some some birthday presents I thought we'd we'd share because we, we did our birthday together our birthdays are close enough that we just celebrate it together on one day together and uh, do the initial housekeeping um, most of the pipes I'm going to show you uh, from on my side, I've already smoked today. This is one I got from Ben at Redeem Pipes. It's a Monarch number 15. I haven't quite polished it up yet, but I did some cleaning and it's really nice. I have uh, some Cornell and Deal White Lightning and Katie. Yes. <laughs> Has a uh, has a pipe from Titus at uh, oh, yes. Ti guy. Customs. He's the, the actually the son of Eric Mills. Uh, that is his first pipe, and uh, it smokes really really well. She says it does. I like it. Uh, I actually just purchased his second pipe, which isn't even done yet. Um, want to support the guy? If you guys want to do the same, you can find him on Instagram. Ti period underscore period customs on Instagram um, he's working really hard to get up to his dad's standards and I think he's doing a fantastic job and she's got cult blood red moon in there and uh, boom <laughs> I like it very tasty and I've also got that in um, one of my birthday presents actually one from my brother it is a Huntsman pipe, is what he called it. It is all porcelain, and it is an alderwood stem. Uh, he spent a lot of time and effort cleaning and restoring this up. I guess it was completely full and packed up. And it is in all but brand new condition now. And it does smoke. Very, very smooth. Um almost almost radiator like as far as its ability to to keep the moisture out it's it's pretty damn good i think he did a hell of a job a lot of pipes like this i usually see them in a, a um i don't i don't have a good word for the poor condition that you usually see them in very used very used yeah non-functional um and then another friend of ours um, they actually just got back from Ireland they are not pipe smokers but they know that we are and they actually went to the, the Peterson storefront not the factory but to the storefront and picked us up some Peterson's directly from Ireland I've got my they got me a 302 with the p-lip it's my first p-lip pipe and my first Peterson and uh, Man, this thing is deceptively large, the bowl, and it is a really smooth smoker. It's a system pipe, with the spigot bit, and it is it is quite nice. I, I can see what uh, what the ravings about it. It's really nice pipe. He also gifted me one. I did not do my research. I do not remember what what pipe this one is, but it's stamped on there. Is it? Yeah. 68 yeah it is a uh, shape 68 it's just a double stamp there's no fills or anything on it it is a fantastic little pipe very smooth very pretty very smooth smoke I think I've only had one bowl out of it so far first of many and then uh, I bought us pipes I bought me a pipe um, and the gentleman who made it brought it to me at Edwards Pipe Shop, um, which is where we spent about four straight hours 
hanging out and smoking and we went and sat in a private little side room while everyone else was socializing. We were just enjoying each other's company, which we do quite a bit. Um, this is this, it's a fantastic sitter. I don't, I don't know how to show it to you. It is an incredibly deep bowl, like you know, almost to your second knuckle. And he has a really wide uh, draw on here. It draws super smooth. It doesn't just hit your tongue. It's it's very unique um, the way it smokes. It it's very very nice. I haven't had one that that draws quite like that. Um, and then Katie can show you. Oh yes, Garrett spoiled me. He got me a Nording. I've been eyeballing this uh, design on here on a few different ones that I've seen at the Tobacco Leaf and got this one. A little bit of a smaller bowl. I like a smaller bowl. Don't go through quite as much as you do, but it's really nice to hold. They seem to gravitate more towards the church wardens. And a meerschaum. It's super pretty. What are these guys? MBSD? Yep. Yes. So with this pretty design on it. This little stem. Um, <coughs> definitely hold see. It closer. Oh, closer. I definitely see what everybody says about these. It was fantastic. I think what first thing I had out of it was Colt Blood Red Moon. And you almost dedicated the whole pipe to it. Almost. No. Is that all I've had out of it so far? I don't keep track of that. Sorry. Well, it's very pretty. It came in a cool little case. I enjoy it a lot. So those were my three. He, of course, gave me those early because he couldn't sit on them any longer. I I like giving things. I, I'm not good at receiving them or compliments. Um, and once again, thanks everybody for all the support for that. Um, yeah, I don't know how to take compliments. I, 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 uh, my childhood was not full of a lot of those. So if the job is well received, then the job was well done. And you guys, and all your support, um, I I don't know how to say thank you in an appropriate way. And I don't have enough money to shower you with the gifts that I wish I could. Um, but we do, um, we want to do the VR for uh, arm, the Armchair Piper. Um, and congratulations on, on doing the four years in uh, on the YTPC that just from one video that was daunting so after four years congratulations that smile on your face says everything um, so we we were in discussions of at the rate that everybody was subscribing trying to do a decent giveaway and I couldn't decide on anything any one thing um, so I have I have a few options on hand. Um, I can do a, a tin and ashtray combo. Um, I have a set of the Missouri Meerschaum uh, tobaccos, the pouch. I have, I have the Country, is it Country Gentleman, the Missouri Pride, and the Great Dane. I have a set of those. Or um, when we get to 100 subscribers, I think that's what we agreed on. Um, we talked for about 30 seconds, um, but uh, could also do um, a pick your blend from Emerson Southern Forge, um, Jim's local to me, and I will pay for two ounces of whatever blend you want and shipping, and it'll come right to you from Jim. Um, but that that is what we had had discussed, and I guess this is what that's what we're announcing. Now. That's what I'm announcing now. You are the announcer. <laughs> All um, you. And furthermore, for the for the question of, of how do you pick your favorite pipe, well, I just showed you four fantastic pipes I've had my mouth on today. And for me, I pick it based on that the blend that I'm feeling like if I've had it before. If I if there's a pipe that I think is gonna handle that's gonna present me with a better experience. That's what I pick, but I'm also 
relatively new, so I make mistakes. So I'll shuffle that around. Um, I I really do prefer if it's going to be if it's really heavily cased. Um, the radiator pipe has been fantastic. We'll see how this Huntsman pipe does. Um, actually, something I didn't. I don't know if I got that close to the camera, but there's a there's an image on there. Um, we'll see how that does with some of the more goopy ones. Um, I do like the church wardens, but my church warden, it tends to gurgle a little bit faster than the other two, than these other two choices. So I'm probably not going to use that for the really heavily cased ones, but there, there are some pipes where I don't have to think about it and that's just a pipe I grab. Um, one of the pipes that she got me is uh, Mr. Brog Dwarf Hammer. And I flip and love that thing. When I don't know what a blend's going to taste like or what it's going to be like, I can throw it in that thing. It has a 9mm filter, nice wide bit. It doesn't weigh a lot. Comfortable to hold, thick walls. And I can make every mistake in the world and still get at least a portion of what that tobacco is supposed to taste like. And since my whole journey so far has been trying to find a favorite, um, it's been nice to have a go-to tool. My everyday pipe is a uh, heavy-duty resin pipe, and I know a lot of people talk crap about that. But um, it's gone through some testing and some evaluation from tons of people who smoke for tons of years. Um, I've put it without the metal bowl in. I've put fire to the resin. It doesn't give off gas or react or anything. And uh, it... Really, the only thing I smoke out of that anymore is, is Blue Ridge because that is the tobacco I, I tend to want to smoke at least once a day. It, uh, it checks a lot of boxes for me. It's almost a favorite. I, I wish it was a hair, hair sweeter. No more trial and error for lunch? Blue Ridge uh, for lunch break? No more uh, Borkoff Rim for lunch. That I wasted my lunch break. Um, but your turn. My turn, how do I pick a pipe? Well, it really depends on how lazy I'm going to be. <laughs> uh, if, uh, like, can't just really set this guy down and I'm not just gonna sit there and, and hold it the whole time, most likely, so I'm gonna be sitting and relaxing, not really doing much else and not setting it down a whole lot. Go for one of these guys. I do really like, we call them the more more flavoring, more the more goopy ones. The cased. The cased. Aromatics. Yes. Uh, I'm going to have a larger bowl of that. Do that in like the radiator or something. But mostly it depends on how lazy I'm going to be, how much I'm going to set it down. If I'm going to like lean into the couch and not get up a whole lot or I'm going to do crafts. I think this guy, this will be good for sitting and doing crafts. Just sit on its own. That'll be nice. But, uh, that or whatever I feel like holding. I'm a I'm texture person. I really like... How'd you say this one said with the wire wheel? I don't remember if that's a wire wheel or not. But I, I haven't had one that has quite had this kind of a finish to it. Feels really nice to hold on to and I like the texture on it. I think that's also one of the reasons why I really like this guy. It's all the smooth angles on it. But... That, or or if I'm just wanting a smaller, smaller bowl, but not really wanting to sit for too long. Uh, ah, I forget the Mr. Brog one. It starts with an M. Motor or Mortor? Mm, Mortor, I think. Yeah. Took some pictures of that one, but that that is definitely one of my favorites because it's a very reasonable size bowl. It's nice and light. Yeah, I'll put anything in that. That's fine. So far, she has she has some 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 pipes where when we started, she has a whole layer of cake building up that is the top quarter of the pipe, and the rest of the bowl, sorry, the top quarter of the bowl, the rest of the bowl is fresh. You're gonna tell on me, really? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. often I don't finish. You're gonna tell. 
Uh, no one said it's a race. You didn't have to finish it. No, it's... but for even wear, I want them to last. I'm trying to finish them all. Be a big kid. <laughs> Be a big kid and finish it. Some of them are just too large. But I guess you just have to sit and relax a little longer. Yeah. And um, I don't know what more to say about all that. Um, I, I do, I really want to... I want to thank the gentleman at Castle Briars here. He uh, he didn't have to come meet me or meet us there, and he actually sat down and, and smoked a bowl with us with with some of the staff. Um, he was willing to share his escudo, but I have I haven't smoked it yet, and I didn't want to rush him or or be weird about stuff because my people skills sometimes don't hit correctly. That's why I work in IT, because sometimes I don't have to deal with people. I deal with computers. Um, but uh, I, it was a fantastic day. Um, I wish that there was more, more pipe smokers around us um, that we knew that we could go hang out with. But that was, that was really good. That was really nice. It was a great day. And uh, Make more frames. I, I wish. Surely we will. We keep showing yeah. up. We'll we'll meet we'll meet you all someday, and you'll have to forgive my lack of of personality or people skills or communication skills at that. Okay. Okay. Well, it's not that bad. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>